All right, welcome to lesson nine, outsourcing content creation through Text Broker. Last lesson, I taught you how to hire content creators from Upwork, and in this lesson, I'm gonna be teaching you how to use Text Broker. This is Grant Worley with AMZ Affiliate Bootcamp, and congratulations, by the way, you're almost done with this module and ready to go on to module four at the end of this lesson. First off, what is Text Broker? Well, Text Broker is a massive content writing platform where you can get your content created very quickly by qualified writers. And if you do it right, you'll be able to find writers who actually may have specific experience in your niche. This can make your quality of your content a whole lot better. So there are four service levels for you to choose from, as you can see here. I usually go with the four star option, which is 2.4 cents uh, dollars per word, because it provides a perfect balance between content quality and cost. Anything less than four stars is usually not good enough, while most starter websites can't really afford a full website built on five star writers, which is 7.2 cents per word. As we mentioned in the last lesson, there are pros and cons to both Upwork and Text Broker. Let's talk a little bit more about the pros of Text Broker and then the cons as well. So here are some of the main advantages. First off, it provides consistently good quality quite affordably. Next, it's quite scalable. Their massive pool of talented writers will be enough to help you get content created on almost any topic. Uh, often, again, with having experience with a specific niche. Also, their robust management system allows you to work with multiple projects, writers, and articles at once and quite seamlessly. For example, I created one project for each of my websites, and I usually ordered 10 to 20 articles at once. Uh, quite easily, pretty seamless process, saved me a ton of time. Another major pro is the amazing support. Tickets are usually replied to within 24 hours, and all of my requests are, have been handled super well. Uh, never had a problem with their support, which is key if you don't want any kind of hangups and unexpected difficulties. Of course, there are some cons of Text Broker as well, so let's, let's talk about really just mainly one. Again, there's mainly just one, which is that you can't work with writers individually. You work with them through the system itself. So the messaging function is not really that great, which makes things a little bit slower. And if you remember, one of the main advantages of Upwork is that you get to know your writers personally if that's something that you value. So it's something, uh, it's a pretty core difference between Upwork and Text Broker, uh, the sort of personalization of it. So uh, depending on whether you care about that or not, something to take into consideration. Now let's go through this specific step-by-step -step process for hiring through Text Broker. First off, you need to get an account, as you can see here. After logging in, ho hover over the Assignments tab and click New Order. From there, you'll be presented with four options. Four options are Open Order, and this is what you'll commonly use in the beginning. Your order will be shown to all authors of your selected quality rating. Then you also have Direct Order. This will be directly sent to the writers that you select. Uh, and then you have Team Order, and you can choose this approach if you've created a team around your, your project or your business, and maybe you invite your favorite writers to join in on it. This feature will be very helpful in ordering and organizing content from writers that already have experience with your, your business and your website and your project. And lastly, we have an expert order. This really only applies to finance. Skip this one if you're not in this niche. So since this is the first time that you'll be using this platform, you can choose to place an open order. Then fill in the information according to your project. So you can see on, on the screen an example. Now we usually turn the SEO options off because we don't want the writers to excessively think about SEO and write artificially. We, we would rather have them write naturally and maybe go back and insert some keywords at the end. For processing time, two days is usually enough for a writer to research and write a decent article. Now please keep in mind that this is not a guaranteed time that you'll get your article by then. It can be sooner or later depending on the, on the writer. Now the article title and the order description are the most important parts here, and you need to make sure that you get them right to make sure the quality of the output is great. So never just enter a single keyword as the article title. This is very important. You want to make sure it's something uh, that's it's a good one. It's catchy. It catches people's attention, not only your readers, but for the, the people applying for uh, writing the article as well. Also, your description needs to be very detailed on exactly what you want to have in the article in order to help the writers do a better job of doing just that. Your description also needs to be very de detailed on exactly what you want to have in the article. Uh, a generic description just won't give you good results here. Make sure to spend time to create a very detailed brief. Uh, it should be clear about key pieces of information, such as your editorial and writing guidelines, maybe an outline of the article, things like that. And then next, just click on Calculate Order, and you'll be able to see the maximum cost of your article. Next, open a new tab, 
go to account, deposit funds, and deposit the exact amount you need, or maybe a bit higher if you're planning on already hiring for other articles. Come back to the old tab and place binding order, and you're done. Now, you need to wait a few days to get the article, but once you receive it, check it carefully, make sure you got what you want, and then you can either accept it or request a revision. Once in a while, you'll get a really bad article from a new four-star writer, and if this happens, don't hesitate to uh, decline it, and the text broker team will make sure you get another writer uh, without having to pay extra. Great, so now we've gone through the exact process, let's talk about some tips for using this platform. Because like any platform, you have to know how to use it effectively. So here are three super important tips for using Text Broker effectively. And most of the tips for Upwork apply as well. Tip number one, be clear and detailed on exactly what you want. Without a good detailed description, you'll never get good quality content from Text Broker. Also, you could leave room for the writer to come up with their own ideas, but using content templates uh, can improve the content even further. Use the content briefs that we paired for you in the resources section when ordering and you'll be guaranteed to get good writing quality when you get it done on Text Broker. We make it really easy and templated for you so you can get going quite fast. Tip number two, create a team and invite your favorite writers. We usually do five to 10 open orders at a time to test and find good writers that can follow our instructions and have uh, experience on our topics and on our niche. And then we invite them to join the team if they do a good job. Later on, we need content. We can just send out orders to our vetted team and know they will do a great job for us on a consistent timeline. Tip three is that you can also get to know your writers a little bit through private messaging. Although Text Broker doesn't really allow us to communicate directly with writers outside the platform, we still need to maintain a good relationship with our team members and you know, maybe know a little bit about who they are as people, their work style, etc. You can simply send them a direct message and initiate a small chat about their background or their goals or, or their experiences. You can also use this opportunity to explain to your writers more about your specific project. We found this very helpful in developing a better working relationship with them and Honestly, if they know you and know your project, they'll be more motivated to provide better output. In the last two lessons of this module, we'll be covering a couple really important things. First off, we'll be talking about outsourcing content creation with content agencies, uh, which is another option aside from Upwork and Text Broker. And we'll also be talking about the editing and proofreading process. Then we'll be ready to launch your new site.